Airline, stop. That's just that's stop to type. Why do you even get that freaking thing, by the way? Add a mod. Oh, the game started. Okay, I have to put on emo. <clears throat> okay. Ha! There we go. <sighs> He's doing the same thing. Oh shit. Hmm. What is happening on this opening? We shall find out very soon. <clears throat> Let's try these moves. Wait, what happens if I pawn up here? If you pawn up here, right? You might take. And I take, and I have to take two. You have so many more takes than him. I think we'll maybe get uh, a good spot, actually. Maybe I could just trade his queens. You can't trade the queen either. No, it's fine. Because, like, I can still castle. Um, right? What can I take? I'm still chilling. I'll do this straight, I think. Should be chilling. Okay, wait a minute. This is such a weird position. He's gonna pawn up here. And we have to go bishop back. And this way. Maybe. Or maybe he doesn't pawn up, maybe he just does double horse. Because that's actually not bad either. If he does double horse, so I don't need to move this bishop at all. Or if he does that, yeah. Um. Okay. Let's see. If you put it here, he does another double. Put it here. Maybe it's better to just bring it all the way back, huh? Yeah, they're putting selfish. That's not good. Wait! What was a5 here? If I did a5, and I did double pawn up, and you bring it back, I mean, that just ruins the structure by a lot. I'm not sure about double a5 yet.
Ooh. Oh no, never mind. What am I doing? I'm actually trolling. If I actually put my bishop here, he was just dead. <laughs> I was thinking about putting it to the. Uh, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Do not misclick right. I should take like more time to make my moves. Maybe. Not the worst idea. If he takes with horse, I take that. He takes this. I take put bishop here because he has to take with bishop. Yeah, he did double pawn up anyways here. This horse is very extremely useless. Oh, never mind. He's protecting this queen for the castle. Actually, my ladder broke too that I could take. What is that? He's really trying to trap what? Or maybe he's trying to give him room to breathe. But he can never trap this. Mm. If I take and sack my rook, and he takes this, and I take that, which is, would it be worth it to sack the rook? I mean, the freaking knight here. You sack this, 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 bishop goes here, it's like, hooks the rook. But then it opens him up a lot, so I don't think it will be worth it. I would also open me though. Okay, let's bring the attack this side of the map. You know, I'm kind of down to trade this. Even though it brings his rook up, I don't. Actually, you can bring his knight up too. Never mind. He's just going for this, bro. He has three attackers on it, and I have three attackers. The problem is, he gave me a move my queen, but I only have two attackers. No, it's I don't not know why. Let's just do this. I would actually take that trade. That's what I wanted to do if I wanted to bring out. I really don't like bishops. Hmm. Yeah, my it depends what he takes it with. Here. Get my knight in some action. You know but nah, saying? bishops. Come on, you can do this and then that. If you give that protection, though, this guy dies for free. But then you can't take that either because he's gonna take it with that. Nope. What should you do? Clean up. Don't tell me, I just bonded my queen. Okay. I don't even know why I'm so afraid of fucking losing queen. I should maybe don't queen up by a little bit so I can move rook and then attack this. The back line. Just want to get that horse out of the way so I can actually play. That horse is protecting so much. The fact that you can attack this tells everything, I would say. I'm saving that psychotic pawn. 
Oh, you little pun. You got this. Hmm. I got one open file. If I do it by one and he does another pun up. Don't tell me he's gonna do another pun up. Just don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's gonna do it. Watch. But this actually weakens his structure. I mean, his position by a lot. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe sure it does. At least in the games I play, it weakens my structure or position every time. You could also move it there and then force him to trade. Oh, what? Screen was protecting it anyways. Okay, now that pawn up won't do anything. Actually, wait, why am I saying he can never pawn up here? Dude, I put that there for this exact reason that I'm forgetting of why I put it there. Well, this is a clean trade for sure. There's no way to not clean trade unless I guess he wants to make another move and I just said it's clean. Uh... Okay, now both his knight is under attack and his pawn. And I'm in a good position. Just hit to not get backline checkmated. I'm gonna move one pawn up once we're done attacking. And then we can organize. The good part is I can actually still take the rook, by the way. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Also, if I move this guy, this guy's under attack. But then I could actually get this position, which is really huge. Once my bishop goes here, like, it would just be a wrap. The king would not be able to play. Okay. Can you do a horse move here? Let me try to help him. No. I mean, if he moves there, I'm still gonna do the same thing. Moves it down. Doesn't really do anything. No, I kind of think I lose. How it would happen? Oh my god. Go back. Did I have a fork and I just didn't do it? Oh wait, never mind, I couldn't. Okay. For a second I thought I had the fork and I didn't go for it. Well, this is a force trade because if I don't, he's gonna hit my bishop for free. Actually, never mind, my horse is protecting it. Dude, what if I go back and debate the fork? You think he's gonna see? I'm pretty sure he's gonna see by then. It'll be too late. Okay, my horse is in the game. Or move in the game, rather. Um, this horse is a trade again, and then if he trades, it, he's checked. Did I do that earlier? Go back. Actually, his best move is not to trade this. If he trades it, I get immediate fork on his rook, and that'll begin.
However, if he doesn't trade it, I'm putting my rook up here and trading immediately. Actually, never mind, I'm not trading now. Ooh, his horse is going to hit it. Go free. Jokes on you. Debate it. I will not do that. But, I could put my horse here. And then what? Well, that's how far we got. One step at a time. Huh, trade this, he goes up there. Let's just do this actually. Since you're far, far ahead, I mean, as well just keep trading, I would say. I have not moved these pawns by one. It's only been the center, I just noticed. Okay, we've been on the attack for the entire game though, so as an excuse, we didn't move the punts yet. Ah, look, 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 we have one punt. Wow, he actually redefended that already. Let's see, trade, trade, trade. Actually, I should've done that. This is the wrong one, I would say. But I wanna get rid of this. If he doesn't trade down, push us up, then I'll push up, and he's locked. And we're both locked. He might attack this horse, actually, the double- actually, never mind. Let's check. What are you saying, Blade? What do you say? We go here, then we go here, then we go here. And then the roll. I made that move so fast without even looking. For a second, I got scared. I mean, I could yonk these funds quick. If you go here, then you go there, you do Because these guys are stuck. They can't move. I want my auto horse to activate. But three moves to take that, and then I can get a pass pawn all the way. And then this, and then that. So, like, if he takes it, I'll take it with the pawn. And then we're chilling. Also, before we do that, do I really need to get rid of this backline issue? Or this back rank, rather? I don't think we need to get rid of it yet. Because that one cannot move. Oh. Okay, never mind. I never need to get rid of that. I mean, he can't really defend that for now. One sec. I want to make sure I can defend this pawn for some reason. This takes, takes, takes. We're chilling. Okay, now I can pick that. Dude, why are you so greedy to protect these? Right, you greedy motherfucker. He's gonna take that anyways. Oh my god. Do I want to defend? No. Should have done this way earlier. I don't know why I'm bleeding for that. That one punch so didn't matter. Also, I need my king in the game. Else we can't win. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring the king in the game first. Don't 
don't see me doing anything with Tabla King. My horses are protecting each other. Like, with Tabla King, I'm fairly sure it's impossible. To push these pawns up. If he takes this, he can also take that. Which would be pretty annoying. Would you give a check? No. Guess we don't move up any pawns. Huh. I wanted to move that pawn, but it's better if I don't move any pawns here. Wait. Did he just do that? I didn't see it. Oh my god. I actually did. Holy moly. Did he really move his horse in front of my horse? I barely paid any attention to it. I did not expect him to do that move. I'm not gonna lie. I thought for sure he thought about the horse hitting the horse. That was like impossible. He's offering a trade here, but I don't want to take this one. Ah, I don't like that position at all. This is so choked. Okay, he takes the pawn, but I run. Can I run fast enough? You gotta go like that to stop it, you evil. This is so short because now he goes here, and if I hit it with the king, he can just hit my horse. So I have to go back. Dude, I've never been into hmm. an endgame with just one horse. I don't remember the end game practice. Because I can't get like, I can not lose the punt, or it will be a draw. 100%. Because I blundered that second knight, and it was absolutely messed up. Well, this pawn is dead now for sure. And then we could actually do something about this square that the king is going to be hiding. Let's see. This, this, perfect. Actually, move the king up here first. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, so I guess, I guess, I call, right? Is that guaranteed? You know, I legit. Dreaming. 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 Drea